We all grew up hearing about John Chapman, an Ohio nurseryman who planted countless acres of apple orchards along America's western frontier in the early 1800s. Although you probably know him by a different name, Johnny Appleseed. While Chapman's affable, aw shucks nature, walking the frontier barefoot with a giant bag of gleaming apples, has certainly been Disneyified for modern audiences, an even more significant cultural misconception is rooted in the purpose of his sweeping botany. While apples have always been a popular fruit, they originated in or around Kazakhstan and found their way to Rome and Greece thanks to Silk Road traders, and from there to Europe and the New World. The apples Chapman and many of his contemporaries planted were not the sweet, soft fruit you're used to buying from your local grocery store, but rather a far more tart, sour variety. Why? Because Chapman and the others never intended for these apples to be eaten. They were meant for the most popular beverage in America since its founding, hard cider. This was an era in which cider was far safer to drink than water, given the fact that its creation destroyed dangerous bacteria. During the 18th century, the average American, including children, drank as much as 32 gallons of hard apple cider every year. In fact, apples didn't become a dominant fruit staple in this country until Prohibition, when FBI agents regularly chopped down bitter apple trees to discourage fermentation. That, combined with the prevalence of beer popularized by German immigrants in the early 20th century, forced many apple orchards out of business. Those that survived shifted production to delicious gala and other well-known varieties. The old English proverb, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, was used to sell apples as a snack food. Today, the U.S. is the second largest producer of apples behind China, and cider is making a robust comeback. Stay curious, my friends.